Hi, I'm John Diamond and I'd like to show you the Bergen Makerspace transportable 3D printer. This printer is designed to be folded up into a carrying case. I've just ejected the filament from the printhead so that's free to be pulled out and I'm going to move this printhead into a position that allows it when it's folded up to be located between this belt and this drill rod. To do that, I'm going to use an option on the touch panel called Pack Up. That'll take about 40 seconds to move into the position ready for packing up. While that's happening, let me wind the filament onto a custom spool that's designed to go into the carrying case. I'm going to trap the end of the filament so that it doesn't come undone. You should never leave a filament spool with the end not secured. Then I'm going to take this carrying case. I'm going to fold down the spool holder, pushing down on the lever here, locking it down. And within the carrying case, I've got a, a little zip-up bag that I can keep odd tools for various purposes. This tool is actually part of the mechanism that's going to secure the spool. So at this point, let's Fold up the printer, I'll switch off, I'm going to take the power cord, fold it up, and then lock that into a cradle that has velcro straps to hold it into the bottom of the case. I'm then going to take the printer itself and fold this up. First of all, the touch panel can be folded down, then there are two wing nuts at the back that release clamps that hold the vertical section in the upright position. And then the whole of the vertical section can be lifted and dropped down into the locked position. That's now securely attached with some spring clips. Then after unplugging the power supply, I can lift it up on the two handles and drop it down into the carrying case. The power supply is located within a cradle in the lid and it's held in with velcro straps. One strap across here, second strap across here and then that spool of filament goes into yet another cradle with that lock that screws down and locks it in position in the lid. And at that point, the only thing left to do is to take that case with all of my little tools, tuck it underneath the touch panel. The whole lock can then be folded up and we're ready to go. And that's about 24 pounds worth of weight, about 11 kilos.